Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Got 10 great questions answered today, so let's get started straight off the bat with Mega, and he says, ASA, what is your favorite potato? So unlike Lego, I stand by the saying, only the best is good enough, and so I'm gonna go with an Imperial potato. If you've never had an Imperial potato, I would suggest trying one. They're really good. Our next question comes from Mr. J Gaming M, and he says, ASA, what set is your favorite, favorite set in the world? I really just can't decide that's a really tough question for me because not only did you limit it to or not limit it to just Star Wars but like I could name any set in the entire world you didn't pick a year or anything so I'm gonna ask you to dumb that question down for me and pick something like what's my favorite micro fighter battle pack favorite Lego Star Wars set from blank year or Minecraft set something like that dumb it down for me and then I'll answer it in the next video because that's just way too complicated for me to pick there's like a billion different choices in that case but I will answer to give you some kind of answer out of the two new helmet sets the scout trooper is my favorite so there you go our next question comes from commander fox and he says asa what are your thoughts on the lego bad batch shuttle well i think it's cool i like it, it i i'm not a huge fan of that sand blue color even though i really do like sand blue pieces and like that color i personally believe that the ship is more of a grayish color it does have some blue in it but so i feel like that sand blue is a little yucky and it looks like it has quite a good bit of sticker one thing I'm kind of disappointed about is we don't get a crosshair minifigure of him as like the Bad Batch, but once he's like Imperial, and I would have much preferred to have him in the form of like a Bad Batch minifigure and then later get him as an Imperial, you know? Um, but I do think it's a cool looking ship. A hundred dollars is kind of pricey, but I'm hoping to get it and then do a review on it. So stay tuned for that. I'll have more thoughts on it once I actually own the set, of course, because then I can point out all the problems and also all the beauties and amazing things about it, you know? Our next question comes from EK Starlord and he says, what are your thoughts on the new Lego Bat Shuttle? So I'm guessing you don't mean the Batman like space shuttle, but because that's not new for starters, um, the Lego Bad Bat Shuttle. So I kind of just answer that question. So I'm guessing that's what you mean. But if I'm wrong, then just correct me and I'll answer your question next video. Okay, EK. Next question comes from Brick Studios and he says, what did you think of the Bad Batch so far? Well, honestly, it's absolutely amazing. I am loving it. Uh, as of right now, we're only three episodes in and I'm just, I'm in love with it. Season, not season, episode three was a little bit more dull, if you will, because they're just kind of like filler episodes. They're just kind of slowly building up to like what's going to happen. I I think the show has so much potential and I'm just so excited for each episode. It comes out at 1 a.m. where I live, so I stay up and watch it right at 1 as soon as it comes out. Uh, well, I mean, I stay up that late every night. I am absolutely loving it and so, yeah, right now I don't actually have a lot of problems with it other than it just being kind of slow, but like I said, they're just trying to build up to, like, what's going to happen. So, it's really cool though and if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Our next question comes from Pixelide and he says, ASA, have you ever watched Disney's Phineas and Ferb and if so, are you well versed whatever that means enough to do an asa with only quotes from that uh no and no i've never actually watched that show i know i probably just like lost some subs for saying that and surprised a bunch of people i do want to watch it i think it would be fun to watch it i've seen like little bits and pieces of the show and i've always thought it was fun i like the animation the colors are nice too um the heads are a little weird looking but i guess that's just the artwork right maybe someday i mean i only do a special themed episode every 10 episodes it's not likely gonna happen but it's possible that it could by the time I make the next episode which would be 50 the next special I should say um so that's not a bad idea next question comes from burner builds wait a minute wait a minute Anyways, um, ASA, what are your thoughts on Lego Ninjago? I used to hate it, but started watching it, and it's really good. Um, so I'm guessing you mean the show, because you said watching it. I'm the opposite of you. I used to love Ninjago. I used to collect the sets back in season one and two, and a bit of three, and I loved watching the animated show, and just, oh, it was so fun and cool, but I've since outgrown it, and just haven't cared anymore. I sold all my Ninjago sets, and I just don't really care anymore. I don't hate Ninjago like some people. I don't think it's dumb. 
dumb or a waste of money or anything like that, but I don't find it interesting anymore. I feel like it's kind of been milked so much that it's like it should be dead, but they're just going to keep milking it for as much money as they can. I have seen the animated show and I actually do like it. The animation style is really good too. It's a little bit nostalgic for me because like I watched it as a kid. I think it's cool, but I don't really care anymore. Like I don't love it. So yeah. Our next question comes from YND Bricks and he says, AS. I can't read apparently. And that's like the easiest thing. It's literally the name of my series. Our next question comes from YND Bricks and he says, ASA, what app do you use to edit? I guess technically it is called an app, but I use iMovie on my computer, on my Mac mini. So I literally just use that. So um, yeah, I use a computer. And if you're thinking about using a computer to make videos, I'd suggest it. It's a lot better than editing and uploading on your phone. Trust me. Next question comes from CN. I'm just going to start calling you CN. I, I hope that's okay. Uh, anyways, he says, ASA, I see that you watch Hermitcraft. Who is your favorite hermit and what season have you watched? To answer the second question first, I started watching Hermitcraft from like mid season three, maybe late season three. It's just such an amazing server. They just, they put so much time and effort into making all their videos and like buildings and just everything. So I just love Hermitcraft. And to answer the first part of your question, my absolute favorite hermit is Sumavoid. Um, I also really love, I always say his name wrong, Green, Grin, and then Cub Fan. I like Corrales, B-dubs, just all of them, like pretty much all of them, but like um, Isuma and Green are my like all-time favorite. Um, I'm actually going to turn that question around and ask you guys that, especially you, uh, CN, who's your favorite hermit? And our very last question of the day comes from Lego Darth Vader Studios, and he says, ASA, thought about the Bad Batch episode one. Spoiler ahead, part of the question, how did you react to Crosshair betraying the Batch? Honestly, I wasn't surprised at all because of like, I don't remember where I saw it, but like, I don't think it was from a trailer, but like concept art or something of like it. And everyone was like, that's crosshair in Imperial armor. So it's like, you already knew it was going to happen. So I wasn't surprised. I, I thought it was interesting because I thought it was going to take a lot more than just order 66, but I guess his inhibitor chip was still mostly active. So that's kind of cool. So my theory is that they're going to halfway through the show, kidnap him and remove the chip. And so that's going to be really cool. Hopefully that answers your question. I wasn't really surprised. Um, so anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. So thank you all very much for your questions. Make sure you ask a question or two for the next episode of ASA. And I'll pin my favorite to the top, which means you get to go first. Isn't that fun? Of course it is. So till next time, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.